Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley with Broadcast. joining me is Mark of Everviz. Hello. Hi, Ashley. Hi. So can you tell me, where does the company stand right now in the media and broadcasting market? Yeah, so we, uh, we're really excited to join uh, Fawn Group. We joined uh, last year. Uh, working together with them um, and really kind of developing our, our product, which is a tool for creating data visualizations, uh, kind of developing it uh, towards the broadcasting industry. Uh, and we know that they want to create charts to enrich their content. Uh, so we're, we're now making it possible to send charts live to air. Uh, so that's kind of where we are. Uh, but we also, you know, have, make it possible to create charts for online use, for online articles. Uh, so we're, we're relatively new in the space, but we're, we're happy to be here and, and meeting companies. All right, very nice. And so what trends are you noticing as far as technology in the media and broadcasting market? Yeah, well, what we see in terms of our technology is that uh, our customers want to create charts in one place and publish it to multiple platforms. So what we're showing here at IBC is what we're calling multi-platform uh, data visualizations. So you can, again, essentially you can create the chart in one place, you can send it to social media platforms, you can download it as a video, uh, you can download it as a PDF for print. Um, so basically, you can take the same chart that you create and publish it in multiple uh, places. So it's, it's basically a time-saving thing and you can really repurpose the content. So that's, that's one trend. Um, but the other thing that we're seeing, uh, and, and this is what we're showing here, uh, are our integrations with the other Fawn Group companies, Dina, uh, and uh, making it easy for Dina operators to access charts uh, in, in their environment as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm here at your booth and you have a lot of new products, things that you're showcasing and highlighting. You just mentioned one. Do you want to go in depth on a little bit more on that? Sure, yeah. That's, uh, again, Dina, so sort of story-centric uh, newsroom system. Um, we, what we have there is an Eververse panel within Dina, so Dina operators can access Eververse charts directly within Dina. Uh, they don't have to leave Dina and go into Eververse. Uh, Eververse is all easy to get into, it's a browser-based tool. But it's a, it's a Eververse panel, you see the charts, you essentially just copy the embed code and, and publish it in, in, in Dina, uh, and that can go out to wherever. So that's an exciting integration that we have. We also have an integration with VizFlowix. Uh, Vizor T product, um, and that's where we can get our charts uh, into um, graphics templates and to air, and that's what we see here behind us. And so, who would you say you're targeting with with these products? I think uh, definitely the uh, the broadcasting workflow or the live video charts to live video. That's for sure. Like broadcasters, anybody, you know, digital producers, people working with live video, really relevant for them. But you know we have a really wide customer base, and we have you know customers working in financial services, polling agencies, health agencies. So any anybody who has to deal with a lot of data needs to visualize it in order to make the message more clear, easier to understand. So uh, and you know the world is is drowning in data, so so people need solutions to to make sense of that. Absolutely, it makes sense. And can you tell us any bit about what we might expect from you in the in the future? Right. Yeah, it's it's really exciting what we're what we're showing here, and we're uh, something called data visualization packages, um, and essentially what that is is charts that we create um, and we design the charts, so the customers don't have to worry about building them at all, uh, and we also connect the the data source into the chart, um, and we're just here. It's kind of at a concept stage right now, uh, just here listening and and seeing if that's something that's that's interesting. So that could be coming down the pipeline. Um, the other thing that we're doing, uh, which is exciting, is adding uh, a, a data source directly into Eververse. So, for example, like financial uh, data. Um, and, and essentially, you could have a, a data source like that into Eververse and automatically kind of create a chart from that. So that's another thing that we're, another direction that we're, we're going. Yeah. Lots of exciting new things. Yes. So uh, we'll certainly look forward to all of that. People can go to your website for more information. Yep. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, Mark. Thanks, Ashley. Appreciate it.